Hey y'all, it's Kelly at Crochet Mile for Life. How are y'all on this Thursday night? Well, I'm doing pretty good. I got off work at one o'clock and I've been trying to recuperate from standing on my feet. And um, I done took me a couple of naps and I reckon it's what, after seven o'clock here now. So it won't be long when I'll be in the bed. <laughs> But I'm off work tomorrow, so that's good. Um, I thought I'd get on here and just chat a little bit. Um, I don't have a lot to show you, although you are seeing one thing. I um, I made a bucket hat, a granny square bucket hat. And um, I enjoyed making it. I don't know how it turned out. My, ba my grandbaby said, Granny, that looks like a good beach hat. <laughs> and, um, but... You know, it's all worsted weight. And, uh, but I enjoyed making her. You know, it was, it was something new to do. And, um, I'm kind of on this, uh, square kick right now. And so it, I guess it's because, uh, it's quick. You can make a square fast. You know, if you know what you're doing, I guess. And, um, so this was something different. It definitely was on my bucket list of crochet things to do. Um, I'd like to make some different colors and maybe try to go down a hook. I think I used a five point a five point five hook on that. Maybe I need to try to go down a couple of hooks to get it to where I mean it fits but it feels like it's too big you know I made my br got my brim going you know um, but yeah it fits this old noggin but um, it feels like it might be just a tinge too big um, I do look like a granny don't I <laughs> but like I said I enjoyed making it and it uh, was satisfying because I felt like I accomplished something new, something different. And I do enjoy my Emmys, you know, but um, here lately I'm just, um, I'm just, I guess I just want to do something different. So, um, but I still, I still want to keep on with doing the Emmy Garoonies. But, you know, every once in a while you, um, I guess you just need something different to do i do at least um that sewing i think is what's aggravating me the most on um <clears throat> doing amy groomies maybe i need to go back to just doing some simple ones <laughs> I, I worked on the dragon this week and um i made some more parts i think i got all the parts made except for the little toenails and that don't take no time so now all i gotta do is um see i got the head and the body all sewed on I just gotta sew the rest of that stuff. I didn't bring that book in here to show you. It, but I don't think I did. But it's a lot to that dragon for me. <laughs> it's all the spikes, you know, down the, all that. But but yeah, I'm gonna get it done. I'm just, um, I'm taking off all next week. I'm taking my first vacation of the year. I get two. And um, so I'm taking off next week. One of my co-workers, she's going to be quitting soon. She got a new job. And um, definitely going to miss her because she was like one of the best ones to do the, a lot of the work. <laughs> and uh, me and her, we was tag teaming on doing a lot of stuff. But since I've been hurt with my knee, I honestly, y'all, it's all I can do to stand there and tap on that register. In my job, I've got to walk across the rooms, you know, and talk to other people and hand them things and, you know, answer questions to customers and stuff and and get things for the customers. So it's been a it's it's been hard on that knee doing that walking, and um, you know, but I've cut myself down to three days a week, and she's spacing them out good, so that's helping. But today was kind of a hard day and um i don't know that knee was just bothering me today so but it's okay now because i'm at home and i can sit down and i'm not on it 
I think it just swelled up a little bit too quick this morning. Um, but <clears throat> I did get a raise, so that was nice. You know, my, my boss lady that come back, you know, she was my very first one. And she left, and now she's back. And I am so thankful. But she fought and got me a raise. It ain't much, you know, compared to a lot of other places in my cashier line of work. But I'm right here at the house. I don't have to drive but maybe two minutes down the road to it. So I'm going to try to hold on and, and to keep on working these three days. And maybe before it's over with, there'll be better days ahead for me. But it ain't much money. But, you know, it'll pay a few things. Pay some of the utilities anyway. Um, I did take uh, some advice on my last video. You know, I was talking about the ads, and they said, Well, Kelly, I think it was Miss Linda, she said, You might as well get paid for it. We're going to have to watch some ads anyway. So they put that little bunny in my bank account this morning, <laughs> and I was tickled. And um, I told my boss lady I was sitting there in the office with her, and I, I was checking my checking account, and there it was. And um, I said, I'm a bona fide hooker now. <laughs> I'm bona fide. <laughs> Y'all remember watching that movie, um, Oh Brother, Where Out Thou? Or Where Out Thou? Thou? Or something like that, you know? Oh Brother. And she would, she said, You ain't bona fide. <laughs> She'd always tell. Uh, George Clooney's character. You're not, he's bona fide. <laughs> I'm talking about the other man. <laughs> so I'm a bona fide hooker, y'all. Uh, it may take me another solid year to make that, that little hundred dollars, but oh well, it's all right. <laughs> um, I don't know how these big channels do it. I really don't because <clears throat> how do y'all think of, I think of all that content to put on? I I, I can barely think about what I'm doing right now. <laughs> but I watch some of them, you know. And some of them's had some drama, you know. And I won't know that, you know. Forget all that stuff. And uh, I think it might dust might be settling now, maybe. Uh, but uh, you know, most of people in America now, they ain't about the drama. If you're gonna watch some entertainment. You're going to want to be entertained. I don't know if y'all are like me, but I don't want to know your political views or, you know, I don't want to know all that. I just want to be entertained. <laughs> I want to forget about my problems. <laughs> and um, I don't want to, you know, get involved, hear all this chitter chatter and stuff, you know. So. But I think it might be calming down now, so that's good. Uh, I ain't been watching a whole lot, you know, but just certain ones I, I like to watch. I like to sit there and, and listen to. I got in the car yesterday to go um, to uh, Vidalia, which is about, um, I don't know, 18 miles from here, and to get some supper. Because, you know, I had got my kitchen cleaned, and uh, I just... I just didn't want to cook. <laughs> and so, hubby said, well, why don't you go down so-and-so and get some supper? So, I went down there to get some supper, but boy, I was under the carport, and he was standing there by the car, and he saw me fiddling with my phone. He said, what are you doing? I was putting on Llama Mama Kayla. <laughs> I said, well, I can't watch her. I said, but I can listen to her all the way down to Vidalia. <laughs> He said, I need that in my truck. And I said, well, you got it. I said, you can do the same thing. And um, anyway, so yeah, I, I've, I have certain ones I like to listen to, you know. I like to watch Nancy at She's Got Yarn. I like to watch her in her yarn room. And where was she at all last, last few weeks? South Carolina. I watched all them videos. I haven't been anywhere in so long I wouldn't know what to think and it looks so like so much fun to be with relatives like that and to enjoy yourself like she did for that long and um, it's been a long time since I went anywhere to a relative's house and 
had fun like that. All my brothers and sisters, they're not in good health, you know, and they don't have places where you can go and stay with them, and they don't have room for all that. And they're none of them are really in good health. You know, I got one sister. She might, she probably is, you know, but um, but the rest of us, well, we in boy, we in bad shape. <laughs> You know, but it's been a long time since I got together with any of my family and had fun like that, you know. So I really enjoyed watching all her videos. And, um, but yeah, so I'm just chattering away. <laughs> He's in there watching, um, a Netflix maybe I put him on a, a hack and slash, a Hercules or something like that. So he said, where are you going? I said, I think I'm going to go in my yarn room. <laughs> I can't do much in here because there's so much junk in here, you know. But I got this kitchen chair. So I said, well, I'll just come in here and talk to y'all. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I get all this yarn. And then it takes me so long to finish anything. But, um. But I like to look at it. I like to know I got it. So, uh, so I, 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 you know, I just enjoy it. I just wish I could display it. You know, if I could display it, I would enjoy it more. Right now, it feels a little overwhelming. Me and Miriam, we've been talking about that. I wish my hooker house was done, and I could go out there and you know do this out there well, maybe one of these days like um i don't know if i even mentioned it but my husband he's gonna be off work for a few months and um of course he's got stuff he's gonna do you know people that he can do some side work for but um he's gonna build me a ramp <laughs> he's going tomorrow to get the wood <laughs> and he's making me a ramp so i don't have to walk up the steps up to the porch my porch because it's really hard when i get off work to do any walking when i first get off work and uh i struggle with it so he's gonna make me a ramp <laughs> a, t a couple of ramps i think he's gonna he's really good at that kind of stuff woodwork and stuff and design and things and um so he's gonna do that i reckon the next few days he said it won't be done tomorrow but it might be done saturday i, I don't know i don't know how to feel about that really y'all i like i want to i want the ramp i want it to be easier to walk but yet and still you know i'm 53 i'm not old old you know so anyway i'm proud that i have a husband who thinks about me like that you know he thinks he's always thinking about how to make life easier for me, you know. It don't matter what it is. If it's, you know, we use different soaps in the, in the shower and uh, he'll take out his soap and he'll put my soap in there, you know. Just little stuff like that, you know. He's always thinking about things like that. And I try to think about him too, you know. Uh, he probably thinks about me more than I I do sometimes, I feel like, I, um, but I try to make things easy on him too, you know, I keep his clothes washed and put away and things like that, but yeah, he's making me a ramp because, um, this knee sometimes when I get off work, it's, it hurts, it really hurts to lift up my feet and go to the next step, but anyway, one of these days it'll all be better. But, yeah, how, well, how, I'm at 14 minutes. I don't know, y'all, if I can talk an hour. <laughs> I'm just not that interested. <laughs> um, you know, uh, I just ain't, don't got a lot of things going on. <laughs> I go to work, you know, when I have to, when I come home, and this is where I try to stay. I try not to go anywhere else. Although some days I have to do some running around here, but uh, I try not to try not to go too far. And guess what I heard today, y'all? I heard, 
I don't know if it's a rumor or not, but one of my co-workers said they're building a Hobby Lobby not 29 miles from me. And that could be potentially dangerous. <laughs> because I like their, um, I love this yarn. The prints, you know. I don't even know if I got anything up here. Yeah. What is this? Yeah. I like their prints. And, um, I don't buy a lot when I'm there because, you know, I because, of course, you know, like I said, I've always said Hobby Lobby is about 50 miles from me. So when I get there, I think, okay, now you can't go crazy because you, you got a lot of yarn. You can't go crazy in this store. So I don't. But if I had a, a Hobby Lobby that was 29 miles away from me, I might go in there and buy, you know, four or five rolls every other week or every week or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how exactly I would do, but I do know that I love their prints. I've made several things with this one. This is um, cinnamon cedar. And um, I probably would visit Hobby Lobby. And they, I like their decorations, although I'm not no decorator at all. I really ain't. But I like to go look at them, you know. And their cups and all that. So it might be potentially dangerous if there was a Hobby Lobby not 29 miles from me. That town of Dublin, it's building up a little bit, you know. They're, they've been building several, several businesses up in there here lately. You got two Chick-fil-A now. Two of them. And they've built a couple of other restaurants and they got an Aldi. So they coming up, but man, I don't know. That would be awesome, though. I know everybody's been talking about this Hobby Lobby clearance, but by the time I got 50 miles to that store, it probably wouldn't be nothing in there. And that has happened to me. You know, I drove there to see maybe if they had anything, and they never did. I've, I've come across it in other places, other states or whatever, I think, before. Where did we? I forget where we went to. And I went to a Hobby Lobby, and I was able to score some. But um, that's been several, several years ago. I probably I've got all that stuff still. <laughs> I need to dig it out and and send somebody some happy mail or something because I don't think I'm gonna use it. But I'd be sending happy mail all the time because <laughs> there ain't no way I can use all this yarn. Oh Lord. But, yeah, so, what else did I, can I show you? Let me show you my other hat I made. Let's see. And then I might wrap this up. And go put on my Walmart gown. And get comfy to do some hooking. For sure. Okay. And, y'all, I'm so bad now. I can't remember the yarns. I might can remember the brands, but. Don't ask me the colors of it. Okay, let me see. This is all. I will link that channel that I got this YouTube tutorial off of. And it was very easy to do. And I love, love doing it. It's all scraps. Um, this is so rare, so rare now. You can't even find it at Walmart. So I don't know exactly what it is. But yeah, I will link that. Very easy. I want to make some more. But I made this one. This is a Walmart, not a Walmart, a Red Heart yarn. And it's got some sparkle in it. Um, this was Yarn, the Yarn, Juan, the Yarn Addicts tutorial. A random Act of Kindness beanie. So this is the third one I've made. And it's very easy to do. I've just about got it memorized. And, um, Got some yarn poking out right there. I think I got it on the right side. Anyway, I got to fix that. But yeah, this is his pattern. And, um, you know, I look like I should be pushing the shopping cart again. But, but yeah, this was easy to do. So that's that one. So that's my second hat. Let's see. Where did I put that other one? Okay. 
Now this is the other hat, and it's the same pattern. But this yarn is Walmart's mainstay, and I've made a hat in this colorway before. But it's got sparkle in it too. And if you go to Walmart, then you know exactly, exactly about this yarn. It's all four weights. I don't think I made this one quite as big as that other one. But yeah, so very easy pattern. Very easy tutorial. I don't think I don't even think it's thirty minutes long. So yeah, I enjoy that that tutorial. So these are going to go to KK at Miss K and K Crochet. These are. I'm gonna make some more because Lord knows I got the scraps. It didn't take long. It didn't take much yarn. So this one is longer. You can tell I did more more rounds on this one so and i might have used a different hook but yeah so i enjoy i like making hats it's like i said it's it's very satisfying because it's pretty quick for me and i like i said i've been on a square kick i made this one yesterday this is a hooked on robin tutorial about a circle and a square so and I've got this, um, I got all kinds of scraps, but I've got one bag right now that I dragged in the living room with me. And it's got all kind of different, you know, yarn in here. So I'm probably gonna make some more and um, send out some happy mail to Miss Kay and Kay Crochet for their Bumblebee Mountain Outreach. Um, I didn't. I don't think I sent anything to them last year, but I plan to do that this year. So, but yeah, that's. I think that's all I got to. To show you as far as what I've been doing, I've been yakking, and um, to y'all. But um, I just wanted to to make a video and um, talk to you for a few minutes. See my cup? It says, in a flock of pigeons be a flamingo. I got to where I like flamingos. <laughs> so, this is a Timu cup. And it's got water in it, which I need to be drinking lots and lots of water. Well, I guess this is it for me. It's 22 minutes of me running my mouth. <laughs> so, I hope um, hope y'all all doing well, and uh, I appreciate you stopping in. And uh, I guess I'm gonna hop off of here and go in there and get my Walmart gown on, like I said, and get comfy and do a little bit more hooking tonight. So I I will talk to y'all on the next go around, and uh, y'all have a great week. And bye, y'all.